All right, so we're down my old work, and look what I got. I got myself a freestand steel grill. I'm gonna go friggin' uh, load her up, and we'll be good to go. All right, well, we're friggin' back at the shop. Uh, so far, I've been a pretty kind of sort of busy day. Um, nothing busy really here happening. Um, polished up the John Deere. You guys saw that in this morning's video. Um, so it's friggin' 3:04. Uh, I went to the Home Depot. I finally got a new pump for the pond. Um, I replaced uh, the other one here that's got friggin' fluids leaking out of it. So I'm gonna hook this thing up today. Hopefully get a working pond. Uh, I had to do an estimate today for deck. I'm going to be working on um, sometime next week. Um, so yeah, and let's freaking go check out the new barbecue. Freaking, I don't know what the hell's going on with my tire. Freaking, now it's all of a sudden it's all full of air. Like honestly, I, I just don't get it. Before it keeps on going flat, now it's being fine. But yeah, freaking nice free little barbecue. Um, get the little stove, son of a bitch. cooker so but yeah well, what happened was this little valve piece on the inside you can actually pull this little knob off um, that's completely snapped off on the inside so I need to figure a way how I can shut that off completely um, or else friggin flames keep on shooting out of this side so um, but yeah great little grill I'm gonna power wash it degrease it and we'll be friggin cooking burgers with pepper cat Keith yeah, friggin' right, it's charbroiled too. So it's pretty nice, pretty decent looking grill. The freebie. Can't beat that. Um, friggin' what else? Uh, oh! I got a nice uh, $80, $85 check from Briggs & Stratton today. Um, because one of the motors, um, on one of my lawn tractors that I had last year um, had a recall on it so I friggin shipped in all the serial numbers, wall numbers and shit like that and this was literally a year ago I did it and I'm just now getting the um, the settlement check for it which is friggin sweet so now I got friggin an extra 85 bucks um, so I'm gonna go cash that and that's gonna be the friggin money that I put in for the snowmobiles um, I gotta run in the bank, I gotta put the money in the bank and I'm going to order the parts tomorrow morning and hopefully they'll be here soon. Um, I'm only going to be ordering the um, the oil seal for the son bitch. Um, actually let's go with that. Let's freaking take a look at it. Freaking move the trailer too. Um, had to move it out of the way a little bit because it was just in the way of things so yeah, I think it's my old school bus. Alright, let's friggin' see what we're getting here. So, we're friggin' getting, um, we're getting the new oil some bitch for right back there. Um, we are also getting a new, um, toolbox holder thing that usually goes right here, this little plastic piece. Um, what else? Oh, I'm getting a new windshield for it. Um, and I don't know, there's a couple of other things I'm forgetting. Um, I was going to get the skis for it, but friggin' the dude's only selling one ski for $23.99. I thought he was selling multiple skis, so friggin' that was, uh, that was a screw up. And the gas tank, when I was going to order a new gas tank, um, it wasn't the right gas tank, so that kind of sucks, but whatever. Um, it's only cracked a little bit, nothing too too major, so it's just right around that little ring there, so yeah, friggin' right. Um so yeah. So I'll friggin' order the parts up tomorrow morning. And I think the total is like is I think it's literally about ninety five bucks just in parts alone for it that I'm gonna be getting and it's probably gonna be like another twenty bucks to ship it, so and this thing here freaking needs nothing because I've already put about 400 bucks into it over the winter, over last winter. Um, you guys, um, if you guys want, you can freaking check out all the work I did to it in uh, a couple of previous videos. So yeah, we're freaking. I'm excited now. We got a freaking barbecue. Cook some burgers up. Freaking dogs. 
So. Ugh. Might have to build a little deck for that thing too. I don't know. So. All right. Well, I freaking gotta go out. I gotta go grab some. I actually gotta put the money in the uh, bank so I can order my shit. And when I get back, we'll be freaking installing the pump. Son of a bitch. Well, the good news is the pump works. Just a little bit too powerful, so we're gonna stick um, a little bubbler unit in and we'll see how well this thing works now. Son of a bitch, got power. Alright, well, the friggin' pond's done. Just gotta, um, still gotta drain it. Uh, I gotta paint the pipes and we gotta put the fish in. But the fish won't be going in for about another two more weeks, three more weeks. Um, so we got all of our little knick-knacky stuff out. Um, we're gonna check it out, see all our video SS. So yeah, friggin' rights. There's all kinds of little knick-knacky stuff around here. Um, so, the kids in the neighborhood really do like it, so. Friggin' rights. I don't know, for some strange reason I feel like I'm forgetting to do something today. He's picking that thing up tomorrow. Huh. Oh, well, I still gotta call the guy about the John Deere. Um, I don't know, it just feels like I'm forgetting to do something. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, but yeah, I don't know. So, alright, well, I gotta friggin' call this guy. Uh, see if he's still interested in the tractor. If not, then friggin' just go into the next guy. Um, gotta call Dwayne, see if he's got any tractors in yet. Um, and I might just power wash up the barbecue, maybe get it, we'll start cooking on it or something tomorrow. Um, so yeah, friggin' right. Alright, well we got the grill on nicey nice. Yeah, friggin' right. Look at that. So yeah, I used, uh, used the easy off. Um, you know, really nice. And I tried it on the uh, snowmobile trailer there, and uh, yeah, friggin' turns it out pretty damn white. So I might uh, spray her all down, and we'll just have to friggin' oh wait, no power yet. I gotta plug it in. Son of a bitch. Uh, but yeah, friggin' kind of wicked clean. Um, I fixed the little um, on it. There was a little gas, um, uh, not a gas leak, but one of the turn-ons and off valves were all screwed up so I just decided to block it off um, trying to find a little piece if I can find it e here it is um, this is like the little valve I'll show it to you in the light here um, and this is where it shoots the propane out where you adjust the little knob um, it was broken off so that wound up get, getting snapped so I wound up sticking on just a regular quarter 20 bolt into um, into the sun bitch hole, so worked out pretty good. Uh, no leaks, no nothing, which is excellent. I used the little soapy water crap trick, um, so that worked out pretty good. So now we got a freaking working barbecue. So, but yep, freaking uh, not too bad of a day. Um, so, all right, well, freaking talk to you guys uh, tomorrow, and keep on teaching the free world.